Today I'm going to be doing a review of Dr. Shoreman's online math classes. Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. So my daughter Katie has used his Algebra 2 as well as his pre-calculus class. And so we're going to go ahead and do a review. First, I'm going to take you on the computer and just show you how you use it and give you the basic information about the courses. And then I'm going to kind of do a Q&A with my daughter Katie, who's been using it, and um, just kind of give you her input on it. And um, we'll also be answering the questions that y'all had sent to us um, about Shorman Math and how it compares to Saxon. Several of you had some questions about how it's different or the same as Saxon. So we'll be answering those at the end of the video as so well. I'm gonna start out with a screen recording just so that you can see the website very easily. This is the website diveintomath.com. And um, if you go to this website, you can decide whether you're looking for math or science. Okay, so Dr. Shorman has two different products really on the math uh, side. He has his own math curriculum as well as he has um, online um, classes that go along. Basically, they teach the lessons for Saxon math. So I am going to be talking about Dr. Shorman's actual classes. So Shorman Interactive Math Classes, um, and these are considered self-paced courses. Um, and they are streaming online. And so um, that's what I'm going to be reviewing for you. Um, Katie took uh, Saxon Algebra 1 and did do dive with that. And she did enjoy that. She did not enjoy Saxon, but she did enjoy the dive program. And that is why we decided to switch to Shorman Math. So we actually, in the middle of ninth grade, she's in 10th grade now, currently doing Shorman Pre-Calculus. But last year in ninth grade, um, in December, we switched her to Shorman Algebra 2 with the geometry. So this is the, uh, the flow of how you would take this. Um, so um, you would do Algebra 1 in either eighth or ninth grade. Um, you would want to make sure you do a pre-algebra um, before that. Um, and so the Algebra 1 will come with a credit for Algebra 1 and a half credit for Geometry. And then Algebra 2 would come with a credit for Algebra 2 and a half credit for Geometry. So by the time you complete Algebra 1 and 2, your student will also have one full credit for Geometry, which most states um, do require for graduation. Most colleges are expecting to see at a bare minimum Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. Um, then after that comes pre-calculus, trigonometry is integrated with that. And then after that, he has a calculus one and two. This one, uh, calculus two, is not out yet. It's coming out this year. All right, so he's got some sample videos on here. That He does have sibling subscriptions that lower the prices. Um, the courses themselves are $129.99. I believe they are all the yeah they're all the same um, cost here and you get that for 12 months and um, so that's how that works I'm gonna go ahead and pull up actually pre-calculus all of his classes are set up the same but we are actually um, enrolled in pre-calculus so I can actually show you the real class versus just um, what is available to the general public so the course home is where we are now. Normally the way the algebra classes and pre-calculus classes are set up is they're set up by week. It'll tell you how many weeks. So in this case, we have 30 weeks. Um, and they usually are set up to where there are four days of math work and then there's a quiz on the last day. It's easily done in four days because the quiz has usually only like four or five questions. So you're not getting that every five lesson test like you do in Saxon. That's a big, big difference between Shorman and Saxon. Instead, you're doing a quiz every week. That would take the pl place of that test, and it's um, more focused on what you learn that week. And then you have quarterly exams. Now, let me show you what the week looks like here. It gives you a reading assignment. There's no physical textbook, but there is a reading assignment for every week, and there's rules and definitions. Let me open that and show you. All right, so it's going to tell you what to do, and this is really more of a kind of getting started page because this is the first week. 
Um, this is instructions, and then there's going to be a lecture, and the lecture looks like this. See anything readily that we can cancel, so expand first. So we'll have two cubed, six to the minus three, over six squared times four, and I'll put a time symbol right there too. And then minus, we put a minus there because there's a minus right there. And again, two cubed on the top times that six to the fifth over six squared times two cubed. Now, hopefully you see right away this two cubed, that two cubed will cancel. And then four, that's equal to two squared, right? So we could think about it like that. And in the first expression there, we'd have a two cubed over two squared. That's like a two to the three minus two in the numerator. So three minus two is one or just two. And then move the six squared up to make it a six to the minus two. So we'd have minus two minus three is six to the minus five. Minus, and then move that five 6 to the 5th, move the 6 squared up to make it a 6 to the minus 2 again. 5 minus 2 is 3, so 6 cubed. And so that's how we'll leave that. We don't have to calculate a number on that. Okay, so you can actually ask a homework test or quiz question here. It's going to take you to a email prompt, and you can ask the question, and they'll get back in touch with you about that. So, okay. So this is Katie's grade report. And so basically it grades all of the lessons. It grades all of the quizzes and it's gonna do that automatically. There is a way to retake a quiz or redo a lesson and it does, it doesn't give you full credit if you do that. If you're the parent and there was like a major mess up, you know, like it, the tests are timed and you need more time or something like that, you can actually go in and request that a grade be changed. It actually does an average um, of the whole class uh, when, when your student finishes the course. So you're really not having to do any grading at all. Um, and your student's also getting immediate feedback because not only is it being graded and they know if it was right or if it was wrong, but they also are able to, um, to watch a video explaining all of those solutions. So I really do like that. So this is what the practice set looks like. It's very similar to the quizzes. The quizzes usually have only four or five questions. The practice sets usually have 20. Let me scroll down, yeah, so 20. It does the same thing though in terms of telling you whether it's right or wrong. Um, and then you have that immediate feedback once you submit that. And then you also have the um, paper copy where you can pull it up online of the correct answers or the explanation. And you also have a video where he goes over all of the problems. So if you have any issue with that, then you've got a lot of resources to figure out um, where you went wrong in the homework. Okay, so this is my daughter Katie, and Katie is a 10th grader this year, and she is currently taking Shoreman's Pre-Calculus. She took Shoreman Algebra 2 last year after coming from Saxon Algebra 2. She actually had a terrible math year last year. She decided um, around probably the beginning, either the end of November or beginning of December, that she really, really, really did not want to do Saxon any longer and wanted to move to Dr. Shorman's math because she was using the dive um, DVDs, which is he's the creator of. And so um, she changed to that. So she changed to Shorman Algebra 2 in December of last year and actually completed the entire course um, between December and May. Um, so she actually really didn't have to do that because she had already done half of the um, Saxon Algebra 2, but she didn't want to have any gaps, so she did that. First question is, how does this compare to Saxon? So first of all, Shorman is an online self-paced course. So your student's gonna sit at a computer, they're gonna watch a video lecture, and then they're gonna do 20 problems um, every day. There's four lessons uh, and one quiz in a week. So it is pretty easy to do in four days if you combine the quiz with one of the lessons. Um, Saxon, on the other hand, it has five lessons per week. It's a textbook lesson, and then there's at least 30 questions to complete, sometimes many more than 30, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah, more like, it. it's more of, 
of a range from 40 to 50. Yeah, because some of the questions will have like a part A, B, C, and D and stuff like that. And one of the things we found was the higher up you got in Saxon math, the longer the lessons got. Okay, um, and then the other thing is Saxon does not have quizzes. Shorman has a quiz about every four um, lessons, and the quizzes are four to five problems about um, for each one. It kind of depends by lesson, but in the range of four or five problems. Saxon has a test about every five lessons. Shorman has four quarterly exams, and each exam has two practice exams that, is, that are given the same week as the exam. What are the pros and cons to an online math program? The first obvious pro for Shorman that I see is that there's an actual you know, teacher, he's a PhD professor, who is teaching the lesson. So it's not just the student reading a book, there's actually a teacher teaching the lesson. Now, you can get that with Saxon if you pay for the dive um, DVDs. And I think there's another um, brand of Saxon DVDs where you can have a similar type of situation. Um, but if you don't buy that, then you just have a textbook. Um, I, think that, I think that for us, that's definitely been a pro, right? Yeah. Having the lessons. Another pro that I would say would be the fact that you, for your quizzes and your homework, there are video review lessons. So you can actually go in and watch the problems be done and figure out where you went wrong, right? And that's yeah. for the quizzes, the tests, and the homework? Yes. Okay. Um, another pro for the parent would be that the grading is done for you. And you do have the ability to uh, request a grade to be changed if you need to do that. I know that was a question from someone as well. So you can do that. You also can request help. There's an online um, communication with them where you can ask for help if you need to do that. Are there any cons that you can think of when comparing? Well, we, we've really only ever used Saxon and Shorman with you. So you yeah. would have to compare Saxon versus Shorman. Are there any... Anything about Saxon that you prefer to Shoreman, or are they all pros? There, there is nothing this, that Saxon has that, that was better than Shoreman. Okay. The only con that I can think of would be if you don't have a good internet connection, that might be difficult. Oh, and if, yeah. And if you are opposed to a Christian worldview, that might be a problem for you because Dr. Shorman has a very strong Christian worldview. And um, even when she's just playing the lessons, you know, I can hear him talk about God and creation and how God is seen through math. And, um, and you know, especially in the beginning lessons where he's mm -hmm. kind of setting up the course. Um, so if that is a problem for your family, then that would definitely be a con. For us, that's a pro. Um, anything else you can think about as far as pros and cons? I don't think so. That's all we can think of as far as pros and cons. For us, Dr. Shorman's class was a much better fit. Like I said, so far we've used Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus. How long does math take you just on a normal day where you're watching a video lecture and then doing the problems? I would say about, about 30 minutes to just over an hour. So about 30 minutes to so maybe like an hour and 15 yeah. minutes. Okay, compare that to Saxon for do, reading through the lesson and then doing the problems. Saxon would be in an hour and a half to two and a half hours. An hour and a half to two and a half. And that was for, um, would you say that was true for Algebra 1 and Algebra 2? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, how long does it take you to do the quizzes? You I'm get, sure. yeah, you get 20 minutes, right? It usually takes me under five minutes. So easy, easily done in four days if you want to do that. How long do the tests take you about? The uh, tests, I would say they're about 30 minutes to an hour. And they give you an hour. They, right? they uh, give me an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. So they are timed. She has not had a problem with the timing. Um, so tests, you get an hour and 15 minutes and quizzes, you get 20 minutes. And he says on the website that usually the quizzes take, that most kids can finish in about 10 minutes. Okay, another person asked how long the lessons are. So how long is the video part? The a video part is between 10 to, 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah, and I saw like for um, some of the beginning lessons are a little bit longer. Like I saw one that was 40 minutes, but that's yeah. at the very beginning of that's the year. A, that's 
when the practice sets will be taking you like under 20 minutes. So still, you've really never had one that was taking you more than an hour? No. Feel, figure, feel like you're pretty much always finishing in 30 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes regardless? Yeah. Okay. So all in all, you do prefer Shoreman to Saxon? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so um, I think that answers the questions that were asked to us. If y'all have any other questions, um, put them in the comments below, and if necessary, I'll get the expert here to help me answer them <laughs> um, about the specifics of the course, but um, we have really enjoyed it as much as anyone can enjoy pre-calculus, but uh, we have really enjoyed um, moving away from Saxon. Saxon was always I kind of felt like it was the albatross around our neck. I mean, it, we knew that it was good solid math and all of that, but it was just so time consuming, so stressful, and um, this has just been more of a breath of fresh air compared to Saxon for us. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in a review of Dr. Shorman's biology class. Um, Katie is currently taking that this year, and if there's interest in that, I would be happy to create that video for you. So let me know down in the comments below, um, and I could probably create that in about another month once we get some of the dissection labs uh, completed. Okay, so all in all, you do prefer... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.